Well, how do that jumps? Tis I, Captain Steve, back with an Elden Ring video, and while I was out exploring, I came across an interesting spirit summon called the Rhea Lucaria Soldiers. Yes, it's got like a captain and two little mini soldiers with it. Pretty darn freaking cool in combat. So it's over by the Lucaria swamps and over by the giant tree. There's like a statue around the back of the giant tree that points its way to a dungeon. So yes, I was over there, over to the left hand side of the map, the western side, I should say. So there we go. There's the weird little statue and it's pointing down that way. I tried to go down there on my live stream the other day and um, I got killed by a load of batty creatures or I got attacked and I ran away one or the other I can't remember which so today we're going to be brave and we're going to head on down to the cave and we're going to head on into the Lucoria area so here we go I'm going to let you watch me just travel there but just follow my sort of directiones So you could see that that odd statue was beaming a blue beam of light past all of these jellyfish. And yes, these jellyfish are pretty nice, aren't they? I've got a jellyfish head on my back. Yes, it's used as a shield. Here's all those freaking bats that got me last time, like Batfink. My wings are like a shield of steel. Keep your wings a shield of steel. I've got a jellyfish shield. Heck yes, I do. Right, head on down to this cave. If you want to see where I got that jellyfish shield, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner. If you press R2 or whatever hard button it is with your shield bash, he actually puts it above his head and it's all like blood rain comes down him and he goes into like a chaos state where he gets a 20% uplift to your attack. I think it even busts my magic. I'm sure my magic does more damage when I do it. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, as soon as you head into this sort of like little mini catacomb, it comes up with the title of the place, which is lovely. So you know you're in the right place, same place as me. But you can hit that to make a save. Now, I would strongly suggest doing that because there's some cheeky little goblins in here that will jump out and try and mash you like this guy. Take that cheeky little imp goblin statue gargoyle type looking freaky thing. Die. Heck yes. Death to you. Right, well, I'll let you watch me just sort of progress through here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But there's lots of secret walks in here, people. I'm really not sure what that lever actually does. I can't actually find any giant doors that it may have opened. I may have to come back in here and re-explore, because I'd imagine there's some more hidden walls that I just haven't actually gone through. I mean, look, that guy was standing looking at that other wall. So maybe there's another secret passage through there. I'm going to have to explore a little more. Now, I am going to go through a few places that you probably don't have to go in, but there are lots, lots of little glowy plants here, and I think you need those to upgrade your ghost summons. I could be wrong, but it's well worth exploring all the areas that I go into. To, and probably not get hit like I get hit here. But here, take this gargoyle, freaking impy git bag to the freaking face. So just be aware, there is a git in there. And you may have noticed that I've moved all of my potions from my down press on the menu to my pouch. Yes, yeah, so now I just hold down triangle and press down for magic and press up for um, healing. And yeah, I've got my horse on on right and then on left I've got my um, other potion you know the the weird flask thing that you can use I can't remember what it's called physics the, the wondrous physics or whatever anyhow I collected some more plants there's a couple more little git bags down here now apparently these little imps have got a very low chance of dropping their own like head that you can use as a mask and it actually ups your intelligence so I might come back here and farm this place a little they don't give me much XP but I would like to get one of those imp heads now what they do drop though is lots of sort of weapons every now and again you get their weapon and you can sell those so all good lovely jubbly so yeah i'm gonna come back here and farm the place
Okay, well, there's one imp just hiding behind this post, but there is a second one in here. I thought there might only be one per room or something and be a bit of a pattern. No, there's freaking two in this room. So just be mindful of that, people. Yeah, because uh, this one really does take me unawares. I nearly brown trousered myself. Yeah, so here we go. Let's head on in and let's pick up this nice little plant. There he is. Look, freaking nearly had me. You freaking little gitty imp take this and yeah they do a lot of damage to me as well because i'm a mage and i haven't got much armor and my shield i've swapped it out for the freaking torch of all things not great but there we go human bone shard i don't know what i'm going to use that for interesting little find cool and there could be a secret wall in there secret wall inside of a secret wall we will have to come back here and explore more but anyway this video is just to show you how to get this awesome little summon that i found oh there's one on the freaking ceiling take this you little cheeky little nipper in the face he's dead don't know what a Nipah is. I guess you can sort of apply that to however you wish inside of your lexicon of Dictionary of Steve. Right, awesome. We've got another plant. Sweet. So what is that? A Grave Glow for... Yes, I think we do need to use those to upgrade our little ghosties. Now I'm looking on all the freaking ceilings and all the freaking walls trying to spot to see if there's any other imps. You know what? I think we're safe. <laughs> She's moving around in my chair as I say that, trying to see if there's any other goblins around the court. No, we're good. Awesome. Extra flower for me. Chicka pow pow. Awesome. Yeah, there's none on the ceiling. What a strange large room, though. Ah, you see, it's got all those holes in the in the back and in the front of this thing, uh, and all on the opposite side. I bet you that activates on the way out, people. I bet we get shot. Be careful on the way back out. I think that that big pillar is a trap. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we've got a little neeper at the end here. <laughs> a little neeper. Take this. You. I'm just gonna call them neepers. I have no idea what they they're actually called. Take this. Die. You freaking get back. Yeah, I don't know if there is a way to tell what you're actually killing in this game. It doesn't really come up with names, does it? Unless it's a big, big buddy. Right, okay, I think we're all clear. No, we're not. I can see you, you cheeky little neeper. Right, we're going to have him. Awesome. So here we go. Let's go. Boom. Oops, missed. Okay. Ha! Missed. Missed again. For fudge's sake, I'm using up all my magic on a freaking brick. Take this, you freaking little neeper. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, we got him. Neepers kind of feels quite yeah take this you brilliant and we're hitting him i can't see on the screen where it says if they've got a name or anything neeper seems to fit there we are we're going to pillage the corpse what did we get oh we got it we got a firefly we got a glinstone firefly they're like glinstone goblins or something aren't they i don't know yeah if you've got a better name than neeper stick it inside of the video comments but if you like neeper just give us a thumbs up or something that'd be nice anyway here we go let's open up this and let's see what we've got there it is Leia Lucaria soldier ashes and you can see there you've got like a captain and two knights pretty darn sweet awesome now i'm going to add that to my summons now like i said i put all my pots on my actual pouch now so all my healing stuff so i've now got all my ghosts on the down arrow so i can just go through all of my different spirit summons and i've got a choice of freaking loads and i've worked out how to do gestures now there's my pouch over there you can see how i've got it all all set up isn't that freaking sweet i guess it is i'm going to take a little pew here and i'll see you again next time take care for now i hope you get your ghost summon goodbye well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.